Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. We all know that betta fish have a great personality and a lot of attitude and sass, but where does all this aggression come from, especially towards other male betta fish? Well, today I'm going to answer that question for you. Betta splendens or Siamese fighting fish are one of the oldest fish to be domesticated in the hobby. The oldest records come from 14th century AD from Thailand as well as Southeast Asia where they were bred for fighting. At the beginning, village children would collect wild bettas and pit them against each other for sport. As this became more popular, people started to selectively breed these fish for aggression, determination, and they used to pit them in these battles where they would place bets. They would select the strongest fish, keep them in tannin-rich waters, and condition them for two weeks, and then let them battle. Afterwards, they would let the fish recover in tannin-rich waters once again, whereas they would heal their fins. From what I'm aware, this sport is no longer legal in other countries, but whether it's still practiced or not, I'm not exactly quite sure. Eventually, breeding goals shifted to ornamental breeding, where people prioritize the appearance of the fish so that people can keep them for display purposes, and that affected the type of fish we have today. Unfortunately, bettas still retain a lot of their very aggressive behavior and are much more aggressive than their wild cousins. The way we raise bettas when we breed them also actually affects their aggression as well. As many of you know, male bettas need to be separated once they become sexually mature or they will start to fight each other. Although usually in a large pond setting, this fighting is not very severe. There was a really interesting study done that showed that males who were isolated would fight more and win the most fights versus males who were exposed to social overstimulation had a reduced rate of biting but still flared. Therefore, betta's aggression is a combination of their genetics as well as how we raise them. Even though these fish have a fighting spirit, we have to treat them with kindness. Do not ever attempt to fight your fish because not only does this cause them a lot of stress, but the damage that they sustain through fighting can lead to infection and even death. While the most aggressive fish are always the males, Female bettas can be just as aggressive, so be mindful if you are considering setting up a sorority as they can also injure each other as well. All in all, bettas have their own unique personality. Every fish is unique and every fish will be just a little different. Some will be more aggressive, some will be less, but they will always have a lot of attitude.